In ancient Egypt, the construction of the iconic pyramids stands as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of its people. The history of these colossal structures dates back to the early dynasties, around 2630 BCE. Pharaohs, the rulers of Egypt, envisioned the pyramids as eternal resting places, designed to safeguard their bodies and treasures for the afterlife. The first notable pyramid, the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser, was built under the reign of Pharaoh Djoser. Imhotep, an architect and high priest, played a pivotal role in its construction. Djoser's pyramid marked a departure from traditional mastaba tombs, featuring six stepped layers made from limestone. Imhotep's innovative approach laid the foundation for subsequent pyramid designs. As Egypt progressed into the Fourth Dynasty, the construction of pyramids reached its zenith. Pharaoh Sneferu, often regarded as the father of pyramid building, initiated several projects to perfect the pyramid form. The Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid, both located in Dashur, reflect the experimentation and refinement of architectural techniques. However, it was Sneferu's son, Pharaoh Khufu, who commissioned the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Built around 2580 BCE, this colossal structure stands as a marvel of engineering. The sheer scale of the project required meticulous planning and a vast workforce. Many believe that slaves built the pyramids, but evidence suggests a more complex reality. Archaeological findings indicate that the construction workforce likely comprised skilled laborers and craftsmen who were organized into a well-structured system. Farmers during the Nile's flood season, when agricultural work was limited, contributed to the labor force. The workers lived in nearby camps and were provided with food, shelter, and medical care. The construction process began with quarrying the necessary materials. Limestone and granite were extracted from nearby quarries, while the limestone casing of the pyramids was sourced from Tura. The massive stones, some weighing several tons, were transported to the construction site using sledges and wooden sleds. The transportation was facilitated by a system of ramps spiraling around the pyramid as it rose. The precision of the pyramid's construction is remarkable. The stones were cut with precision tools, likely made from copper. The alignment of the pyramid with the cardinal points of the compass is another testament to the ancient Egyptians' astronomical knowledge. Khufu's son, Pharaoh Khafra, built the second largest pyramid at Giza and the iconic Sphinx. Khafra's pyramid, though slightly smaller, appears taller due to its elevated location and the remnants of its original casing stones. The Sphinx, with its lion's body and human head, served as a symbol of royal power and protection. The construction of pyramids continued into subsequent dynasties, with Pharaoh Menkaur completing the trio at Giza. However, as Egypt's political and economic landscape changed, the grandeur of pyramid construction diminished. The decline in resources and central authority shifted the focus to less ambitious burial structures. In conclusion, the history of the pyramids of Egypt is a testament to the ancient Egyptians' architectural prowess and organizational skills. From the innovative Steppe Pyramid of Djoser to the monumental Great Pyramid of Giza, each structure reflects the evolving techniques and aspirations of successive pharaohs. While the mystery of precisely how the pyramids were built persists, the enduring legacy of these awe-inspiring monuments continues to captivate the world. Thank you for watching. Don't forget subscribe.